Good morning from in the hospital. It's Zoe again. I'm really puffy. Um, I'm on prednisone, like 80 milligrams. But <coughs> anyways, today is Saturday, September 17th, I think. And um, I was admitted to the hospital Wednesday. Don't know what that day would be. Um, I was having some asthma issues and I came into the hospital and needed BiPAP and all that fun stuff. And then in the ICU, um, my heart rate got very high. Um, it just was consistently getting higher and my respiratory rate was up and white blood cell and everything. Um, so I was in like the septic marker, which scared me. Um, but you know, I'm in good hands and I'm much better today. They um, did find a little spot of infection slash pneumonia in my lung, look at my unicorn. Um, so I'm currently on the Oh, talking is tiring. I'm currently on a doxycycline um, antibiotic via IV. Um, I got two IVs in my upper arms because my lower arms are kind of shot um, from all the pokes and stuff that just don't have great veins. Kind of wish I still had the port, but also not really got that removed. Um, sorry, I look so gross right now. I just kind of was lonely and sometimes making YouTube videos makes me feel less lonely, I guess. Um, my heart rate is back to normal. My oxygen is good. I'm on very low amount of oxygen. My heart rate's not very normal, actually. I kind of lied. It's like, it's still kind of tacky-ish. And I wanted to go on a walk because I haven't gotten up too much yet, but they still don't. They just told me that I'm not stable enough to walk yet. Um, I can go to the bathroom, but I have to let somebody know. And I just can't be moving around too much because of my oxygen um, maybe it could drop and also um, mainly the heart rate thing because it was, it was pretty high in the ICU so to hear that I was in the markers for sepsis was um, made me realize that I came in in a good time and God definitely has me in his favor so well not me you know what I mean like God has me or whatever and um, yeah my boyfriend Patrick is the one who brought me to the ER he was very calm it was really sweet of him and sometimes I get scared to involve people so much in my medical stuff but I know that I can help other people um, as far as my CVID goes I have a, 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 a I can't talk so much anymore I have an immune disorder called CVID and I also have a genetic disorder related to that so basically if you don't know me that means that my IgG yeah. is low so already somebody did come in um, but I forget what I was saying. Basically, I have CVID, um, and uh, it's an immune disease, immune disorder. Part of my immune system doesn't function properly. So without those infusions, I have basically the part of my immune system is working like a two-year-old's immune system at almost 22. Um, my birthday is Wednesday, so I'm hoping that I can get out. Um, as of right now, I'm just resting, and my IgG is lower than normal. My white blood cell count is high, so kind of counteracts each other right um again i'm not a doctor or anything i just kind of know what i know due to you know um being educated on my own and being educated by doctors and nurses that i come across and my own experiences so don't quote me on anything please like i said um but yeah as of right now i'm just resting and hoping that i can maybe get out soon because there's a really cool exhibit that i want to go to tomorrow called the van gogh exhibit that i've had tickets for for a while if I do go, I think a wheelchair might be happening, but um, we'll see. I'm still not even really allowed to walk around yet, so I don't know if that's going to happen, but fingers crossed, right? I'll do what's best for my health in the, in the end, but still would kind of suck. But anyways, hang in there, stay safe, and I love you guys. Bye. Oh, because I brushed my teeth. Hashtag I love pots. Also, I'm going to be using Lumi deodorant. And then I'm going to be brushing my hair with this nasty brush. <sighs> Putting it up in another bun. Got all my toiletries and fake eyelashes, apparently, too. Forgot those were in there. But yeah, I'm not going home today, which kind of sucks, but, um, yeah. This stuff is so good. doxycycline in my bag to protect it from the sun and I have my weighted unicorn penny she's kind of dirty but I got her at Target for $20 she's the best and then I got my 
lantern fish, my, my eye antibiotics, and unfortunately I am not going home today. I'm gonna be missing the Van Gogh exhibit, which I'm pretty upset about, but I wanna be safe to go home, and when I got up to use the bathroom, I was pretty winded and short of breath. So they're keeping the oxygen on, some low volume, and giving me my meds, and gonna keep it rounded on me, and I just wanna go home soon. I just don't feel like myself, which kinda sucks. If any of you can relate to this, to having a CBID or POTS or anything, let me know. So loud. Don't let go of my hand. Myself to watch movies and shows that I haven't seen or haven't seen in a long time because I always watch hoarders and like TLC shows it. I need to watch something else this time. So back again with some lunch. It's just not connected, don't worry. So, Mom, do you want to explain? No, I don't want to be on camera. She doesn't want to be on camera? Yeah. Okay, so basically I had a, <clears throat> I was going for my first walk, right? Going for my first walk, strolling along. And then, because of my POTS, I was tachycardic, and then my heart rate dropped from like 41, or well, like 115 or whatever it was, 120 to 42, and then 30, and then I passed out in the hallway, almost, pretty much, but they caught me felt really weird. Um, now I have to stay here and have a bunch of tests, so cheers to being healthy. Also, side note, I love these cups. I want like five of them for my house. But mom brought me pizza, so that's good. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> love you, mom. I love you more. Minding my own business, watching 90 Day Fiance. And they offer, okay, so I have the heart rate dip and I'm getting the fast heart rate and stuff. I'm not anxious. I've just been sitting here. I don't feel anxious, um, but I really dislike when they offer Ativan and stuff. I mean, of course, everybody's not going to like the hospital, but I don't actively feel anxiety until they assume that I have anxiety and then I just get, like, annoyed. <sighs> Anyways, but they also gave me some meds to help slow down my heart rate. Um, going to give me some more antibiotics, fluids all that stuff because they definitely want to figure out what's going on and I also have a T abnormality, a QT abnormality in my X in my EKG which was not there today and I got a lot of blood work done and stuff and Patrick my boyfriend is coming bringing me some ice cream and my mom brought me pizza so I'm glad that I'm getting fed and getting good health care I just get kind of annoyed about the anxiety thing I don't know if you guys ever get that too leave it in the comments below if that annoys the heck out of you because uh, that just makes me so this is my strawberry shortcake shower cap. Fun fact, they only give these to you certain times. Like, they're expensive, so they don't like to give them out. It's like $30 a piece, but thanks insurance for clean hair, because I can't shower yet. So I just gotta, like, massage it. It gets heated up and has, like, water in it and stuff. And I also got dinner, so I'll show you those. <laughs> I look like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Smashed sweet potatoes. <laughs> Broccoli, grape juice, Pepsi, brownie, and chicken salad wrap. I'll let you know how that goes. It's giant. It's like the size of the plate. And this looks kind of gross, but it's actually pretty good, so. This looks like a seven. Pretty good. My hair's a little wet now. Cheers. the video of your knee shake or your foot shaking hi thanks for bringing me ice cream it cures me so i've got my water my giant jug we're taking sips and i um hooked up to more antibiotics fun um the spot in my lung looks bigger today so i don't know what that's about um I'm not getting taken off oxygen tonight because of the episode earlier. And um, hopefully I can go home tomorrow, Monday, someday in the future. I don't know. But I'm just watching some TV. And um, if anything else exciting happens tonight, I'll let you know. But if not, this was day four in the hospital. Or like technically the third full day. I don't know. I came in Wednesday night, but 
my boyfriend came to visit. My mom did. It's all nice, all nice things. Just kind of feel a little bit beat mentally, physically, all of it. I don't know. Good night. Chocolate chip pancakes that I already ate, potatoes, sausage, and yogurt. It is day five in the hospital. I'm back on oxygen for a little bit now. Maybe I'll go home today. Let's see. I got word that I'm not safe to go home right now, that it might be POTS related, even though the other doctor said it's not. And because of the miscommunication between doctors and residents and stuff, I started to cry and I got really emotional because, and the reality is I do feel better breathing wise, but I don't feel like myself and I'm not safe to go home due to me passing out. And the doctor also was like, oh, your heart, your heart rate never dropped to 30, but the PCA who witnessed it was right there. So I told them to talk to the PCA to get the strips from the, from the telly that I was wearing. And sometimes self-advocating can be hard, but it's very necessary. And I just got emotional and she was like, you know what, let's do that. Um, I'm sorry if I was wrong, let's see. And I'm just feeling a little bit defeated because I wanted to go home. And I'm just kind of bleh. I just don't feel like myself. I don't feel like how I used to baseline. So kind of sucks. Now I'm just gonna sit up in a chair and see how I do and hope that uh, everything stays okay. It's about almost one, so we'll see. But there's my update. There's my lovely view. Okay, so here we are. I'm finally up in a chair. Very excited about that. <clears throat> kind of losing my voice a little bit. Um, my view is cute. I get to see all the pigeons. Now I'm just having some dinner that my nini brought me. She brought me some Chinese food earlier. I also got some dinner from the hospital. Um, yeah, I'm sitting up in a chair. I'm doing pretty good. They had to turn my oxygen back up a bit. But other than that, I'm okay. I got great nurses. Some students came in and just eating some dinner. Watching some TV on my laptop. And yeah, that's about it. I have crab rangoons. I have crab rangoons. <laughs> oxygen dropped a bit so that's kind of annoying um yeah we'll see two pancakes potatoes and sausage i get this every day it's pretty good again okay whatever of the hospital got my hospital hair watching hoarders eating some bread who knows what in the hospital but um my heart rate's low this morning which is annoying it's like in the 49 50 range so part of me if that goes off but um I'm not flying the greatest, so kind of sucks. Hopefully that doesn't make me not go home quicker. I mean, obviously I need the answers and I gotta do something with this hair, so. Good morning. <clears throat> I am home. Look at that. Oh God, that hurts so bad. I'm not home, but I'm my grandma's. And I'm covered in bruises from my V's, but basically I left today. Tomorrow's my birthday, September 21st. I spent like six days in the hospital. Um, when I was leaving, they called me to say that my monitor had caught an abnormal heart wave, so I had to not leave yet. And I have something called junction waves or something, and my, basically my beta blocker causes that. It can. So I have to stop my beta blocker, and I have pretty bad POTS, so I'm going to be staying with my grandmother. And, um, she's a nurse, so she'll be able to kind of help me out a little bit, and just kind of heal, I guess, and wait till I see my cardiologist because I'm really scared about what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna feel off of beta blockers because the beta blocker controls my heart rate and POTS makes my heart rate get really high, blood pressure low, and I pass out. Sorry, I'm out of breath from doing nothing, but yeah, I'll give more of an update. But basically, that was just my hospital stay. I'm feeling better overall in a way, but now I'm just like, really, tomorrow's my birthday though, so I guess that's good, right? or something.